Another day, another weird lighting issue. Hey guys, it's Brynn, and today is the last day of Summer's Now Over Week. But I'm still really excited because today I get to answer all your questions that you've asked me throughout the week about going back to school. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to get right into it and start answering your questions. So the last day of school, me and my boyfriend decided to take a break, and at the time I thought he meant like a few weeks. But we haven't talked all summer and I'm scared to see him again at school. What should I do? Whew, we're diving right in, ladies and gentlemen. I feel like the best way to go about this situation is just to kind of act normal. I mean, just because you went on a break, I don't think that necessarily means that you have to be like completely ignoring each other. I think you could probably, if you see him, just say hi and, you know, kind of don't be like standoffish because then I think that just makes everything awkward. You don't have to walk up to him and be like, hey, what's up with this break? What are we doing? Are we together? Are we not together? What's up? You can just be like, hey, and maybe he'll be like, hey, and then things aren't awkward and then it opens it up for a discussion later, maybe. Don't be like too worried about it or too like make it a big deal, um, which is really hypocritical for me to say because I know I would be freaking out about it, but I think that just makes it worse and that makes it more uncomfortable to fix the problem. Favorite subject in school and why? My favorite subject in high school was English. Um, pretty much throughout um, my entire uh, four years at high school, my favorite subject was English. Um, I also really liked art, and I also took a couple of um, music classes that I liked. But yeah, like towards the end, English was definitely my favorite, and that's why I went on to um, major in it in college. How do I motivate myself to stay organized? I think you just have to tell yourself that being organized is important. Um, because if you, in your head, don't think organization is important, then you're not going to be organized. I think you just have to know and tell yourself that, like, this is important, this is going to help me do better when I have everything um, right there in front of me, or I know exactly where everything is. I'm always typically very organized when it comes to, like, schoolwork and stuff because I hate, it gives me so much anxiety if I, like, miss a deadline or I forget to, you know, finish a paper on time. I get so freaked out that I will do anything to avoid it, but I'm not so organized when it comes to like putting clothes away or knowing exactly where a shirt is and stuff because just in my head that doesn't really matter too much. Like if I can't find a shirt that I want to wear, okay, that doesn't matter. I can just wear a different shirt. I think you just have to like prioritize it in your head. Like I need to be organized. I need to do this. This is why. And I think then you'll kind of like do it to avoid the anxiety. What is your advice to people in high school who are about to get their first jobs? I like this question because I had a job pretty much throughout my entire high school career. Um, the summer after my freshman year of high school, I started a job and I actually had a really good job. I wasn't working at like a fast food restaurant or anything. I actually worked at um, my local library, my local public library. So my advice would just be like, try to find something that seems beneficial to you. I think if you end up working at like a fast food restaurant or something that you don't really care about, it's hard to be like motivated. I was working at a library and then I went on to become an English major. So working at a library like made sense to me and it made me like want to learn about it and it made me want to like work a little harder. My advice is that either you try and find a job that you find benefits in and if you can't, if you end up having to work at like a fast food restaurant, which happens, or like doing something that you don't really care about doing, I think just treat it as though it's important, but not like it's the most important thing in the world. You are in school and school should be your number one priority. This job, no matter what it is, is not the most important thing. So don't treat it as your number one priority, but still take it seriously and still work hard because um, having a job is really important and learning time management and learning how to work with other people. It's all very important. So take it for what it's worth and you know, <clears throat> learn the things like time management and working with other people, but don't take the job so seriously and like let it define you that you work somewhere that you hate or that you don't really care about or that's not really important. Um, and just have your priorities straight, I guess. I'm starting a new high school on Thursday. It's my junior year and I know absolutely no one and I have a heavy course load this year. I'm not very social either. Do you have any advice? Yeah, I think just like 
try to figure out what's most important to you. Is making friends important? Is doing well in school important? Or is it act or is like acclimating into the school important? And I think just like don't put too much pressure on yourself to, you know, make friends right away and be popular right away or do really well in school and get good grades right away. Like it takes some time to, you know, really acclimate into a new place and really feel comfortable. Like that should be your first priority, just trying to feel comfortable. Um, and you know, the friends that you make right when you get there probably won't be, you know, the friends that you'll have next year. Um, and the classes you have now won't be the classes you'll have later. So I think just like try to be comfortable, especially because junior year is like a really tough year. And not only is it academically difficult, but I think people are starting to realize that you're leaving soon. And um, so keeping friends gets kind of difficult. And also you're applying to college. So everyone's thinking about that and they're thinking about leaving. So there's a lot of, you know, difficult stuff about junior year, especially when you're starting in a new school. So I think just try to, you know, acclimate yourself and feel as comfortable as possible and everything else will kind of fall into place. Could you talk about applying to college and any tips you have for the application process? Yes, I can talk about this. When I was applying for college, I was really idealistic, as I am with most parts of my life. And I kind of forgot when applying to college to be realistic because I had all these colleges that I really wanted to go to, um, I had really good grades, I had really good test scores, I, um, I had gone to a private high school, so in my head I thought, yeah, I'm gonna, you know, I, I, these are reach schools, but I'm gonna get in to one of them at least and I'm gonna do fine. Well, it didn't really work out that way. Sadly, um, I didn't get into any of the schools that I really wanted to go to, and that happens sometimes, you know, you have really high expectations and even though you think that you have the qualifications to meet those expectations, you, you know, it's not necessarily up to that, it's up to other people. And you may think you're really qualified, but they might think there are hundreds of other kids that are much more qualified. So one of my tips is to have realistic expectations. It's okay to, you know, have reach schools that you really want to go to, but make sure that you also have, you know, safety schools that you really want to go to, and you have middle ground schools that you really want to go to and be excited about every single one of them. Don't apply to a school just because it's a safety school and you're like, okay, well, I'll get in there and it's a backup. Like, your backup should be exciting too. Every single school you apply to, um, from all ends of the spectrum, you should be excited about. I got kind of off track there, sorry. But when it comes to applying to colleges, don't be afraid to ask for help. I know when I was writing like personal statements and essays, I was kind of nervous to tell people or like to show people what I was writing. I was like, no, this is personal. Like, I don't want anyone to read this. I don't want anyone to know. I just want to send this off. The only person I really trusted to read my essays was my dad and he was extremely helpful, but you know, he didn't know everything about the college process. Like, you know, he had gone to college years ago, um, completely different than, you know, it is now. So I think it's important just to reach out to as many people as possible. Have teachers read your essays, have, you know, anyone that you trust read your essays, and um, I think that's really important just to get as much feedback as possible because you don't know everything about the application process. You can't possibly because it's your first time doing it. So don't think that you know everything because that's what I did and it did not work out in my advantage. So I'm going into 10th grade and I don't really like who I'm hanging out with. They say a lot of weird offensive stuff to me. Do you have any advice on how to like slowly leave them and also making new better friends? Yes, I do. I have a lot of advice for this. I am an expert. Throughout high school, I had a lot of friend difficulties. Actually, I've had a lot of friend difficulties throughout my entire school career, even now. Um, friends are difficult, and if you're anything like me and you take friendships really seriously, um, it's really difficult to find people who also take friendships seriously. I think a lot of people, especially younger kids, don't realize the importance of friendship, and they just want someone to be able to talk to, um, or they want to be cool, and they don't really care if they have really good friends, they just care that you know, they care what they look like with their friends or that, um, you know, them and their friends are cool by, you know, their peers. But when it comes to leaving friends, I, <laughs> you know, maybe I'm not the best person to give advice for this because I have always been one to say that if you're not happy with your friends, if you're not happy with your situation, if, 
you know, the people that you're hanging out with make you feel, you know, bad about yourself, um, don't be friends with them anymore. I know a lot of people probably don't agree with me on that. Um, a lot of people say, you know, you should stick it out, you should be friends with everyone, you should, you know, have an open mind. That has never been the angle that I took with it. Um, if someone didn't treat me right, if someone was, you know, mean to me or someone treated me like I was only there when they needed me and they weren't going to be there for me when I needed them, if they were going to say things about me that made me feel like a bad person, um, I just, I don't want to be friends with that, those kind of people. So like, I think just having the confidence to like, stop texting them back or just sitting with someone else at the lunch table, like, I think that shows that you have enough confidence in yourself that you deserve better than that. Easiest way to make new friends. The easiest way to make new friends is to talk to people who are sitting alone or who seem to not have friends or who seem to be unhappy with their friends. I think just paying attention to that and finding other people who don't seem to be too confident or seem kind of shy or you know, don't seem to have the sol any solid friendships, those are your people. Find them, talk to them, befriend them. I'm in 11th grade and over the summer I moved so I have to go to a new school. It's a better school but I'm not an outgoing person. I don't know anyone there, I have terrible people skills, I'm trying to get better but I won't be better by August. And having the course load from hell isn't helping but I can't change it at this point. I'm really nervous, please give me tips to help a girl out. I say just don't put too much pressure on yourself. Just try to be comfortable and try to, you know, fit in as best you can um, where you feel comfortable with who you are and what you're doing. And I think the most important tip for this is just fake confidence. I think honestly this is the most important tip for anything, for any, you know, going to college, going to a new school, making new friends, whatever it is, you know, fake confidence and you will find confidence. It is one of the best tricks in my book personally. Um, no matter how shy you feel or how bad about yourself you feel or how uncomfortable you feel, as long as you like stand up straight, say hi to people, ask people a question or, you know, whatever it is, um, just faking that confidence kind of gives you that confidence. And if you see someone who doesn't have that confidence and who seems kind of shy, um, it always helps me to kind of see that and like acknowledge that and like help them feel more comfortable. So my job is to make other people feel more comfortable, which then makes me feel more comfortable, which just makes the environment better and just makes everything work out better. So yeah, that's all the questions that I have for this video. Um, to anyone going back to school soon or going to college or going to a new school or anything, good luck. And yeah, I had such a great week with you guys putting up a video every day. It was so much fun for me. I hope you enjoyed it. And thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it so, 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 so much. Um, if you haven't yet, please subscribe. I put up new videos every Tuesday. So I'll see you on Tuesday with another video.